everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Vlogs and Whatnot. So we are back at it again. We are on a four day weekend. About bloody time, I can tell you right now, because we are in absolute need of a little wee bit of a break. Because we don't have those stand down days anymore. So we're going to have to have full days at work. So that's going to be fun. As you guys know, they are a bit uh, a bit stuffed at the moment, but that's not going to stop us from going down to the shop at the moment. So we're going to go down and grab some things from a card collection, or not so much a card collection, but it's more of a hobby shop, if you will. So we're going to run down there and grab some things from there, and hopefully they'll have what we're after. You know, it's pretty weird going around town at the moment because we had some pretty strong winds yesterday and as you guys can see there's quite a few things that are not where they're supposed to be a lot of branches and trees were all basically blown over and if there is one thing and it's still down maybe we'll see it may even have been fixed by now but there is a little something just up here that uh, really demonstrated the strength of the wind that we had. It was about 80 mile an hour, or 90 at, at the highest. So, as you can imagine, some trees weren't very happy or very strong about it. But here is that other thing right there. But anyway, we are all good from that we didn't get any damage or anything even the trees that we got out the back are all good in the hood so that's always good to see none of the roof or tiles fell off either so that's always good to see but we are in that season where storms are going to be every other week of the month and year so it's going to be fun i think we've got another one coming in about a week's time so We'll um, see how that one is. I'm hoping it's not as aggressive as this one, but either or, it is what it is at the end of the day. All right, we are here. When I say here, we're at the shop that we need to go to, which is just up over there. Basically, a little card shop or a hobby shop, if you will. So I'm hoping that they do have what we're after. They'll be pretty darn happy if they do, but there's not much else we can do if they don't. I can always go onto eBay if need be, but we'll have to wait until money for that. But anyways, I'm gonna go over, grab what we need to grab, and skedaddle home once we are done that. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, heck yeah, guys. I had what we were looking for in that very shop we have two brand new decks of Yu-Gi-Oh right here guys the red pack is Slifer the Sky Dragon which is right there and then we've got the Obelisk the Tormentor right there so they are two as you can tell Egyptian gods I love my Egyptian stuff, as you guys may have seen in the past with some of the little statues and busts that we've got at home. We do love the theory behind the ancient Egyptians, especially the way that they mummified <clears throat> such people in those days, 2000 years ago. But anyway, I'm a very happy boy with this in total. They were supposed to be 22 bucks each, but I got them for 20 bucks each. So that was basically $4 saving for me. More money that I can spend elsewhere. <laughs> but anyways, we are very happy with that. So we're going to take these home and we're going to have a gander at these um, decks. decks. Yeah. They're the first edition. Fancy that. First edition. Alrighty hell. Fancy ruddy that. I was also thinking as well getting like um you know those card sleeves. I was thinking of getting those 
Yeah, because I kind of... Part of me wants to collect them. Part of me wants to play with them. As you know, being a big kid and all. It's a bit difficult to make that decision at this point. But either way, we are a very happy boy that we can uh, come down and collect. Oh, this is actually a um, birthday gift, as a matter of fact, from mum and dad. Uh, they basically gave us a bit of cash and I had no idea. I was talking to a mate the other night, oh, as a matter of fact, Tuesday night when my birthday was on. And I was talking about the old days, like when we were in school. Um, your mate used to love, absolutely love playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I was sort of intrigued with how it all works. I've, I've been watching YouTube videos the last couple of days on how to play properly. And it's an interesting sort of game. And a really good game that I want to get into. Um, especially having to play, not having to play, but always playing um, video games. It's always good to have a bit of a break with something like this. So always good to use strategy and thinking instead of you pushing buttons and everything else in between. So I'll be very much happy with that once we can get some of these up and going. There is some shiny ones in there because I did watch a video of it last night. And there is some shiny ones in there. So without further ado, me flap me gum like I always do. We're going to head on home and crack these open and hopefully we can enjoy what we see oh boy i am looking forward to this guys getting the trusty Yu-Gi-Oh parts out because I usually like the color blue, so I'm going to leave that on until last. We're going to open up this one here, the Slifer, the Sky Dragon. I'm going to crack this open, have a look at the cards. Cracks open pretty well. There is the gaming mat. If you open that up. Oh, oh, come on, there we go. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but that is the gaming mat. You can just barely see the squares. They're not very, um, not very clear, but they're there. That's basically what you put your cards on, decks on, everything else in between. And also on the back of this, I've got uh, strategies and tips for this particular deck. Definitely have to read that at a later time so I can have a bit of a refresher on how to play because it's been, as you would say, quite a few years since we've played. Alright, here comes the best part if I can get the cards out. Maybe, maybe not. Don't really need those. And there they are. Not as big as I thought they were. They're actually a quarter of the size of what I remember. But the very first thing that comes out is that bad boy right there. As you can tell, it's got quite a shiny thing to him. That is absolutely awesome. Right, where do we open this up? Right there. Alright. Let me just readjust this camera up a little bit. My first ever card. Is our trusty Mr. Slither himself. Comes next, Soul Crossing. Also another shiny card. Thunder Force Attack. Nice. And again, I'll just readjust that. Sorry, guys. Should be a little bit better at this, <laughs> considering 
Again, Millennium Seeker. Looks kind of like a priest, very shiny card. Uh, Ultimate Divine Beast. Tell us the little angel. React to slime. Oh, very nice and shiny, guys. Shiny. Hypey's Feather Duster. I hear that these are extremely rare to get. Uh, Break of the Magic Warrior. Beast King Bob. Barbarous. Nine tailed fox. Uh, Phantom Sky Blaster. Card Guard. I do apologize whenever I turn around because I can't really see the screen that well. Caligo Claw Crow. Grow. Crow. Mm. Electromagnetic Turtle. Better keep the metal away, hey guys. Break of the Dark Magical Warrior. So I've got the brothers here. Sweet. Escape Ghost. Arima the Wicked Warden. Arima the Wicked Warden. So I've got two of those. Huh. Well, there you go. I got two of those. Three of those. <laughs> Three of those same card. Who would have thought? Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow Lord. Clock Wyvern. Looks kind of like Scyther from uh, Pokemon. Tenil Spirit Vishuda. Swords of Prevailing Light. Monster Reborn. So you can basically bring back any form of monster that is dead. Book of Moon. Kind of like the Book of the Dead. Or Book of Life. Uh, enemy Controller. So you can basically take over any other of the monsters on their side. Uh, Pot of Avarice. Kind of looks... Uh, like that Slimer off uh, Ghostbusters, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, March of the Monarchs. Supply Squad. Card Advance. The True Name. One Time Pass Code. Lair of Darkness. Draw, draw of Fate. Mirror Force. So basically mirrors any force or attribute from the other side, I guess. Uh, Reckless Greed. Metal Reflect Slime. The Golden Apples. Mm, shiny. I like gold. Back to the front. And it looks like that's basically it. Looks like just uh, some random cards at the back. But that is the first ever little deck of cards that we've got there. The next is going to be this one right here. So we'll go and put these other cards on my bookcase so we don't, as you would say, mix them up too much because we don't want to do that. We may end up doing it later down the track, I'm not sure, but either way, for now I'm not gonna mess them up too much. All right, here comes the next one of the Obelisk the Tormentor. They will be very interesting to see what is in this card deck. I know I was going to have another one of those mats. That's cool. 
I don't mind having spare ones. And the house, so there it is. Another mat that we can use later down the track if need be. Divine Beast. Again, where is the little thing? Right there. So, as you guys have seen, there is Obelisk, the Tormentor himself, herself. Soul crossing fist of fate, divine evolution, level resist wall. Not sure what that is. I'll have to look deeper into that one. Angel Ol or Oi. Looks like Angel Oi right there. Uh, Mare Mare, another shiny card, another Harpy's Feather Duster, so maybe these aren't as rare as I thought, but either way, i uh, got a Nimble Momongo, or Momonga, and i got three of these, maybe, I don't know, thought I saw somewhere that there was three of something. Bazu the Soul Eater. Cyber Dragon. Oh, that looks like a nice one. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of Onyx. Is it Onyx? That big rock one from um, Pokemon. Yeah, I got three of these. Uh, we had one just a moment ago. Nimble, Momoka. So, as you can see, two thereof. So there's another one sitting in that deck. Harden Armand Armed Dragon. Ugh, can't even speak. Hardened Armed Dragon. There we go. Get that dyslexia di dyslexia out there. I can't even bloody say that word. Jeez. Anyways. Super nimble mega hamster. Whoa. Yes. Yes. That'd be me. Absolutely. Evil Swarm Mandragora. Mandragora. Yeah. Tongue tie. Tongue twister, if you will. Photon Saber Tiger. Uh, looks like I've got two of those. As you can see, two, two of the same card. Evil Swarm Salamandra. Ra's Disciple. Got two of those. Three of those. Three of Ra's Disciples right there. And they got four stars, but anyways. Still will do something. Unmasked Dragon. Nimble Beaver. Condemned Witch. Very nice. I love that. That looks friggin' awesome. I love that design. Absolutely love that design there. Gizmak Yukar, the festive fox of Fasunity? I don't know. I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> uh, there's a few words that I don't really know to say, but anyways. Gizmek Makami, the Ferocious Fanged Fortress. Brain control, like uh, brainwash. Yeah, boy. And again, Monster Reborn. 
basically bring back any monster different dimension capsule and again pot of avarice so some of these will be exactly the same identical from the last deck double summon forbidden chalice Forbidden Lance, Forbidden Dress, Forbidden Squad, The Monarch Storm Fourth, Call of the Haunted, <laughs> being a very avid lover of ghosts and spirits and all that that card has just become my favorite cloning trap card drowning mirror force and it looks like that's basically it again she's got three random cards in the back which i'll have a great look at a little bit later on There it is. Two decks of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm a very happy boy with that. Very happy indeed. And now that a bit of time's gone by and a couple of sessions of Yu-Gi-Oh, <clears throat> it's the very next day. Time flies when you're having a good time, is what I say. And uh, whenever we get a chance. Uh, it is Sunday. It is a beautiful day. It's uh, not, I wouldn't say cloudy, but uh, there is... A wee bit of cloud out at the moment. So, a little bit later on today, we're going to be playing a little bit of bocce with the boys out here. And I'm not sure what else we're going to do for the rest of this weekend. we still got two days of freedom, so we can uh, still get up to something productive this weekend. Other than playing with cards and the boys. So, see how it goes. Not only that, we do have some other cards coming on the mail from eBay. We ended up getting 400 Pokemon cards off eBay for about $30 a pop. So that's 60 bucks for 400 cards of Pokemon. It will be interesting to see what we've got out of those because I did say there was going to be rares and all that sort of stuff. So that will be interesting to see when the time comes for it. That'll be a little bit later down the track though. Probably sometime next week. Perhaps will be when they come through. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. Uh, definitely something else that we can play with the boys with is uh, Pokemon. I don't know about you guys, but that was a very productive visit from the boys. Now I've got uh, things coming that can be related to the boys. It would be a little bit more productive the next time that they come here. Henceforth is why the Yu-Gi-Oh cards are sitting over there and henceforth is why 400 plus Pokemon cards are coming as well. They do like playing their card games in such a way and luckily enough for me, the oldest boy Tyler has bought these V Battle decks. He's left the, the one of the booklets for us so we can uh, figure out how to play the card games so that is awesome and the fact that he's done that so at least that way we can as you would say practice a bit before he comes back with all the other cards that he has in his bag or at home and so on and so forth so for now guys we're gonna leave it at that we have basically done all that we could and we played some bocce with the boys and I let one let the oldest boy play a bit of Fortnite on the PlayStation, so he's pretty happy with that. He did level me up 20 plus levels within two, maybe three hours. Can't believe in how ruddy good he is at this given time when it comes to playing these ruddy games.
But that is what you basically expect from the younger generations nowadays, is spending a lot of time on the screen, as always. Uh, the young, older generations aren't as, as you would say, clever at it, or as good. Like, don't get me wrong, I ain't crap, but I ain't the best either. I usually level up two or three per five hours of playing a video game, such as Fortnite. But anyways, guys, we're going to leave it at that. We are basically done for this weekend, for the time being. We still have two days of the weekend for we don't have to go to work tomorrow, which is Monday, and Tuesday is Melbourne Cup, as you guys know, is pretty big in Australia, with uh, horses going around in circles, uh, 1,200 metres, or whatever it is that they do, but yeah, anyways, I'm blabbering, as always, but for the time being, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, until the next time, keep it easy.